Hello everyone, I am Rahayu Sulaban. Today, we are talking about English phonology. But before we get started, I would like to thank to Mr. Musrafi in Simanulang because he is one my lecture in University Singamangara J12 and I create this video for him. Okay. We will begin to discuss about the organ of speech or position of articulation. To produce a sound, we need organ of speech. For example, lips. We can't produce p m sound without our both of lips. So we have two lips that we use to produce p and m sound. We have upper lips and lower lips. And behind our lips, the are teeth. They also use to produce sound like t. t. So in English, we also use the top of tip and lower tip. Behind our tip, we have alveolar ridge. We also use alveolar ridge to produce a few sounds. And back on our alveolar ridge, we have a hard pellet. Hard pellet we use to produce some sound in English. And back of our hard pellet, we have a soft pellet. But some of people, uh, say that the vellum, so we use vellum to produce a sound. Within that, in front of it to the back, we have a nasal cavity. And then, we have a nose. We use nose to make a sound, for example, mm. Mm sound, we're blocking our, our mouth and upper lips and lower lips together. And then, we're pressing a airflow through our nose. So we use noise to make a sound. And also, we have a tongue. Uh, tongue. We also use tongue to produce a sound. For example, O sound. We can produce O sound without a tongue. And also, we have a pairing inside our neck in the back and larynx to produce a sound. We have a vocal cord or glottal or glottis here to produce a sound okay if you want more clear you can see this picture okay then we move to the place of obstruction so the place of obstruction where we produce the consonant sound i will explain to the part in producing the sound the first one is m mm sound m mm sound so we produce this sound by using vocal cord, so it is voice, by blocking our mouth and pressing the airflow to our nose. So, mm, mm sound, blocking our mouth, mm sound. And then is p sound, p, p. So it must use a vocal cord just airflow, so voiceless. Just make our upper lips and lower lips uh, blocking together. So, p, p, p sound. This sound is also not using a vocal cord, so it is a voiceless, just using an airflow. So, sound, it's, uh, we can use a sound or produce sound with pushing the airflow out of our mouth sound and it's wah sound wah wah to produce this sound we make our lips is or our mouth it's rounded so wah wah then we have a k sound k k k we not use a vocal cord to produce the sound so it is a voiceless so we just uh, push uh, the airflow uh, out of the mouth to produce this sound. K, k, k. Okay, now we move to ed ending. So ed ending is regular verb. The question is, when we should c or d in ed ending? First one, we use ed is t after voiceless. For example, like. Is a voiceless so light, light. And for another example, it's 
help. Help is a voiceless. So we use ed is d. So helped, helped. And then it's jump, jump. Is a voiceless. So jumped, jumped. And then it's using ed is d after voice. For example, carry, carry, er. R sounds so R is voice so carry carry and then it's call call l l voice so called called and then is stay stay yeah 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 is a voice so stay state and the last is we using ed is ed after t and d for example want want t want so want it and then need need t so need it and then celebrate celebrate so celebrate it okay now we move to a voice and a voiceless sound and the example of them. Voice. Voice is uh, when we make a vibration here. For example, the the I can feel vibration here. The the so dance. W w wave. Yeah yeah yeah. G g for game. And z z z z for z v v for very very or van. Some example of voiceless is like just airflow for pencil and for take and then. for fine and then k, 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 for key and then just airflow for happy and then just airflow for happy okay the next we move to the treatment of as and es in English. The singular become a plural in English. Or also use a as and es from the third person in English. For example, dog plus as become dogs, plural, dogs. Cats, cat plus as become cats. Lura. Flower. Flower plus as become flowers. Lura. Lip. Lip plus as become lips. Lura. Lips. I. I plus as become eyes. Eyes. Lura. Now, how can we make es from the singular become a plural? We use ES after O, J, H, and X in English. For example, O, tomato, tomato, plus an S become a plural, so tomatoes, and X, X. For example, fox, 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 plus an ES become a foxes. So plural. We not only use es and s from singular become a plural, but we also use es and s the to the third person. For example, watch, watch, watches. So she watches some movie. 
play, play, play plus as become place. So he plays some game. Dance, dance, dance plus as become dance. So she danced well. Okay, I think that's all. I hope this video is useful for everyone and I know this video not perfect but I hope you like the video and I hope you learn something and bye bye